Hi everybody, it is I, Papa Rock. What have I got to tell you today? It seems like just yesterday I made a video and told you stuff. I don't know if I have enough to film a video for today, but I was going to tell you about our trip to Toronto last Saturday. I can't believe how time goes by so fast. I was going to vlog about that last Sunday, but here I am seven days later and I'm telling you about the trip to Toronto. I'm going to show you a little bit of the 401 just as we're coming into Toronto. It can be quite busy and I'm going to put that in right here. Just wait. Here we are, stopped on the 401. Sixteen lanes of traffic. Whole bunch of cars. It's really just a parking lot. So that was the 401. Weren't you excited seeing that big road? I have been stuck on that road I don't know how many times. It's not that exciting, I'll tell you. Anyway, the mall was wonderful and I was using my big black purse for the very first time. I'm feeling quite pleased about it. I had my camera in there, I had a pair of slippers in there, I had all my stuff. I had, um, I don't know what else, stuff. And so we go into the mall and I'm carrying my little purse and little purse, what am I talking about? The great big mass of enormous thing. And the first store we went into was William Sonoma and they had a huge big wonderful display at the front of the store with roasting pans and stirs and, and orange spoons and stuff um, for Halloween, not Halloween, what do you call it? Thanksgiving. Our Thanksgiving is coming up relatively quickly next month and they had all kinds of stuff. Stuffing and gravy and fake turkeys and whatnot. And I turned around to show something to Pat who was right behind me, bashed right into him with my stupid big purse and he practically knocked over the entire display of Thanksgiving stuff in Williams Sonoma. That was the first incident. Later on in the mall, as we were walking around, and it's a great big huge mall, I bashed him another three times. I nearly knocked out a whole, well, a kid, a little kid that was about the height of where the purse was at my elbow. I turned around and smashed right into him, and I thought he was going to go sprawling. It hurt my shoulder. I had a great big red rash here and here. I felt exhausted. I hate the big black purse. I can't stand it. It was $203. And after I had come to the realization that I hated the big black purse, I said to Pat, did you see all of the purple purses in Coach? Now I didn't know about Coach until fairly recently when Beth was talking about Coach purses. And I was stunned that there was a coach store at Sherway Gardens. So we go in and we look at all of these beautiful pur purple purses. Did I say it was purple? And I spy one that is just perfect. It's half the size of the big black monstrosity and it had little pouches on the outside and a side pocket where you could put a book or papers or whatnot. So I said to Pat, look at that, isn't that nice? I think I'd rather have that than the big black purse. But he wasn't feeling too happy about the big black purse because, as I said, did I tell you? It was three, $203. And that's just for nothing. I can't take it back. It had a five day, five day thing where you could take it back. Only five days. And that's long gone now. So anyway, back to the purple purse. I said to Pat, I want the purple purse. And then we went for lunch to the pickle barrel, and I wanted a cheese blintz, which they didn't have. So we had fish on top of couscous, which was very good. We had only one meal and we shared it. 
and over the meal we talked about the purple purse. And Pat wasn't feeling too happy about the $203 that I've just burned. But he said, let's go back and get the purple purse, which I thought was very generous. So we finish our lunch and we go back to the coach store. And we look at the purple purse and we're greeted by the greeter at the coach store who takes us over to the purple purse. And I look inside and I poke it all around and it's very nice and it fits me. I was able to try it on. It was $498. And when I saw that, I turned suddenly and bashed Pat one last time with my big black purse and said to him, I can't justify $500 for a purse when I've just spent $203 on a purse that I'm going to put on my upper shelf in the walk-in closet because I'm never going to wear it again. So we didn't get the purple purse. And then we left and we went to my friend's place for dinner. Now, Mitch, does, did he? Re I worked with Mitch. Pat didn't know Mitch very well, and I never had met Mitch's family. So it was really wonderful. And right here, I'm going to add a picture of Susan and Mitch at dinner. Here it is. Susan made such a wonderful dinner. It was turkey with everything. Everything. It was just an enormous spread of food. Salad, buns, potatoes of three different kinds of potatoes and a pasta salad and a pasta hot dish baked with, with cheese and oh, it was very good and we had apple crisp with ice cream for dessert and I put two pounds on which I've just spent the past week trying to get off and I was successful plus another half pound. So on Tuesday, Michael won't be upset. But we had a wonderful time. And I'm going to stop now because it's plenty of time that I've yabbered on about. And I'm closing with a picture of the moon. The moon was orange when we were driving home from Toronto. And I'm going to close with that picture. So that's it. That's all.